And, you know, despite not participating in the actual event, like having a match, you still have a lot going on. I know people are curious about well, what is Montez doing despite not actually having a match going on. So um, everything that's happening, like uh, last Friday, we lost our last opportunity to be a part of WrestleMania, which is uh, being part of the six pack challenge for the undisputed tag team championships. And we haven't won or had the WWE tag team championships in almost three years. So for us to not be a part of WrestleMania due to Final Testament still finding themselves in our business, it's a little upsetting, you know? Like, this is the biggest WrestleMania of all time, WrestleMania XL, WrestleMania 40, and, like, we're not even in a conversation. We're not even going for the tag team championship. So kind of does something for us and does something to us. But by all these years of being nice and making everyone comfortable and, you know, everyone kind of taking our kindness for weakness, it kind of has gotten us nowhere. But since Final Testament seems to be here and still in our business, I feel like we have to kind of make an example out of someone. We have to mm. kind of switch the tone. We kind of have to, like, make an example of, like, hey, we won the Raw, SmackDown, NHT, and Evolved Tag Team Championships. And sometimes that seems to be an afterthought because it gets clouded by so many things that are not happening with the street profits or the fact that, you know, my wife is doing all of these miraculous things and I, you know, I'm just becoming pretty much a shadow or afterthought. So like, you got to think all these things are happening and us just trying to continuously branch ourselves out. But I think final Testament is going to be that faction or those group of individuals that are going to have to be made an example out of, unfortunately, because it's time. Yeah.